Welcome back to Caffeine Confessionals. I hope you are having a great day because unfortunately I have to bring some bad news. First reported by Pink Rose, the number one spoiler source in the game on the Vedmo.com, season 37 of the challenge has temporarily shut down production in order to follow COVID-19 protocols. Before the season started, players had to go into a quarantine. They spent 10 to 14 days in a hotel isolated by themselves all they could do was maybe work out and watch TV in their small little areas. Not much fun. Uh, the, the season got going, it started filming, and either a cast member or a crew member who was around all the cast members tested positively for COVID, and because of that, they had to shut down production. We've seen this in basketball, baseball, and football, where games have been postponed due to players contracting COVID and everyone else having to take precautions. It's just part of the world we live in today, and it's a bit shocking that we did not get any positive COVID tests on double agents. What does this mean for the show going forward? Well, there was actually already an em elimination that's happened on season 37, but because the test came up so early in the season and players might decide to walk away from the season completely knowing that they had to quarantine for a second time, they may just restart the entire show. They may have to bring in some alternates. They may, because people might drop. That's what we have to consider. Uh, there is the two-week quarantine where people had planned to have seven weeks at most they could be gone. For example, Amanda Garcia is a nurse and a mom. She has a job and a child she has to take care of, and having to spend an extra two weeks potentially in the in quarantine, that might not be worth it for her because she, she has a good paying job at home. She might go back. I mean, there are people who might quit just from the insanity of having to be in quarantine by herself for that long. Bachelor in Paradise, uh, the ABC dating show that is a spinoff of The Bachelor, had a similar situation a few years ago pre-COVID where they had to shut down production really early on and then some people decided to come back and other people decided not to. It is an interesting situation and it is part of the world we live in now. It's just, it's heartbreaking because you, you know so many of these people want to be here but then this pandemic just keeps getting in the way of so many things. I'm also going to give you guys some updates on the cast right now. Now two weeks ago I posted a projected early cast that Vedmo was reporting. Since then some players have been dropped from the cast, some players have been added. A lot of people think that this is going to be a fresh meat type season or similar to War of the Worlds 1 where a veteran will partner with a rookie. I think an interesting twist would be uh, same sex pairs where a male partners with another male and a female partners with another female and they just compete in separate brackets similar to the rivals era of the challenge. We have Emmanuel Niagu from Survivor Romania. He came in second place on that show and Survivor Romania goes for a hundred and something days. It's crazy. Emi Lupe, who is a singer from X Factor and also appeared on that same Survivor Romania season. We have Pumped Gabo, who is on the Polish version of the Jersey Shore, known as Warsaw Shore. We have Jeremiah White from Love Island 2. I mean, he looks physically impressive, but he had a very short run on Love Island. We have Kelichi Kells Dyke from Too Hot to Handle Season 1 on Netflix. Lauren Coogan from Love Island US Season 2. Apparently she lied a bit about her age, that's what everyone says. Uh, she's older than people think. We have Mark Byron from Big Brother UK, Shipwrecked and X-Factor. While I'm not a big fan of this guy, at least he gives us some, some LGBTQ representation on the show. We have Michaela Bradshaw from Survivor, and I think fans are most excited about her because she is a physical force, she is strong mentally, and she just has a lot of personality and charisma. Michelle Fitzgerald, the winner of Survivor, Koa Rong, also known as Braun vs. Beauty vs. Brain 2. She was the third place finisher of Survivor Winners at War. Great social game, but I don't know if she can back it up physically. Next up, we have Priscilla Anyabu from Love Island UK. She has some muscle on her. She could be intimidating in a headbanger elimination. And Tommy Sheehan, the winner of Survivor Island of the Idols, I believe. Uh, that's the only season of Survivor I've never seen, but he is a school teacher who is married and people are not too excited for him on the drama side or the competitive side, but he's a big fan of the challenge. On the veteran side, we have Amanda Garcia, who I mentioned before, and again, she's been put in a tough situation because it is an extra one to two weeks that she won't be in her, with her family 
and will have to be quarantining. Anissa, Real World Chicago. Uh, she's been on 14 seasons and a bunch of spinoffs. Of course, Anissa's back. Ashley Mitchell, Real World Explosion. CT, Real World Paris. Uh, he's back to try and get his fifth win now. Corey Warden, four-time finalist, finally trying to get that first dub. Devin Walker, let's see if he can make it to the second final of his challenge career. Josh Martinez, never made it to a final, finally got his first elimination win last season. Winner of Big Brother 19. Casey Clark, Big Brother 20, uh, winner and two-time finalist. After that terrible final that Fessy put her through, let's see if she can compete and get that win for herself. Kyle back for his seventh straight season and it's a bit surreal because the British people still feel new to the challenge but Kyle is now a longtime veteran. Fessy, lame, loser, can't eat food, lame. Namvo, who deserves a second shot after his bad back uh, DQ'd him on double agents. Excited to see him compete without Lolo Jones. Nani, back again. I mean, she's a staple of the show. Just finished third place on double agents. It was a decent performance. Nelson Thomas, one of the best elimination competitors ever. Uh, one time finalist. Let's see if he can pull out that dub or if he sacrifices himself again. Big T, fan favorite. I mean, kill double agents. Everyone loves Big T. Tori Deal, um, early exit on her last two seasons. The season before, World of the Worlds 2, she had a great season, but yeah, newly single. Uh, I wonder how she'll do. And that's that's your Double Agents cast. I'm not going to scroll down any lower because then you'll see some spoilers. Again, we may see some people drop out. We may see some people get added only because of COVID protocols. Uh, people... They, they just may weigh their situation and realize that mentally it's not the best situation for them. I forgot. There actually is some stuff we could look down here. Uh, some people that were dropped before filming. Uh, we have Olivia Libjawanda who was on last season. Uh, I've heard a rumor about why she was dropped, but I'm not going to say it. Uh, we got Michelle Schubert who was on Survivor Millennials vs. Gen X with Michaela and Jay Starrett. But she was not used. She doesn't have too much of a personality, so that did not shock me. We have Jay Starrett. Uh, I think Jay was just an alternate for this season. Ed Easton from The Circle. And I'm really disappointed he got dropped because he looked like a rookie with a lot of potential. He's a former college athlete and he works as an engineer, so he's smart with muscles. Amber Borzotra just won double agents, but she got Jenny Wested. She is an alternate for this season, not on the full cast. Marco Ferri, who I believe he's from Spain or Portugal. Or uh, maybe Italy. I'm sorry if I forgot. I, I didn't really know about this guy. I didn't really research him. And then he got dropped. And then Ricardo Ratz, who, again, I don't really know who that is. I didn't really research that person. Uh, that's that's your season 37 cast. Uh, production's been shut down. We may see things shift. We may see the format completely change. Maybe they'll actually film the show in four weeks rather than six weeks and just have a bunch of purges and double eliminations. You never know. Uh, I'm excited, though, because... I'm excited for any season of the challenge and it just it pains me to hear that they're going through these difficulties i mean I, I saw a basketball season had to be postponed just the world has changed in so many different ways and it sucks to see the challenge affected in such a way i mean they didn't get to go party last season uh, i don't really know what to say i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh throw a like and a comment on who you're most excited to see this season uh, have a great day